How to set up email step by step. This tutorial will show you how to set up your account. You will be able to download emails and send and receive emails using Outlook. Before you begin, you may wish to download our PDF guide. All the information you will need to hand is listed and explained on one page. You can find it at www.pixinc.net slash teachme under the email section. When you are ready, open Outlook and find the File tab at the top of the page. Click it and find the Info tab on the left hand side. Click the Info tab to view account information. Under that heading you will find an Add Account button with a green plus sign. Click it to begin. In the window that appears, you do not want to select Auto Account Setup. You will need to select the option to manually configure your server settings. Then, in the text field provided, please enter your name. This is the name that you want to appear on any emails that you send. When you're ready, please enter your full email address and password in the text fields provided before clicking the next button, which can be found bottom right. The next panel to appear will ask you to choose your service. Select Internet Email and click Next. Lastly, you need to enter your account settings. Under User Information, enter your name and your full email address. Under Server Information, select POP3 for your account type unless your provider has said otherwise. For incoming mail server, enter mail.yourdomainname.co.uk or .com depending on what you've got. That's mail.yourdomainname. For example, our domain name is pixinc.net, so we would enter mail.pixinc.net. For outgoing mail server, you will need to enter the details specific to your broadband provider. Your outgoing mail server is likely to be smtp.yourisp domain name. For example, it could be smtp.btconnect.com if BT provides your broadband. If in doubt, always contact your broadband provider. Under logon information, your username is your full email address. For example, your name at your domain name.com. It is important to include the part after the at sign as well as the first part. Enter your password and leave the secure password authentication blank for the time being. On the right hand side you will see you have the option to test your account settings. Select the tick box provided. Under that there is the heading deliver new messages to select the first option which is new Outlook data file. When you are ready to test your settings click next. If it didn't work, Outlook has been unable to connect to one or both of the servers. You will need to double check all your details and make sure they are entered correctly. You can do this with the help of our PDF guide. Visit www.pixinc.net teachme to download it. If this doesn't work, please call your service provider.